Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This ought to be a treat. I mean, everything that Stone does, just about, just about, is very tasty to me. And what they've done here, this is Stone's IPA, and what they've, and this is their Cali Belgi. And uh, what they've done here is taken their IPA and used a Belgian yeast on this particular version to give it a little bit of that Belgian kick, uh, maybe a little bit of that... Uh, bubblegumish, bubble banana-ish uh, taste to it. So, and usually that yeast it lends a little bit of that spiciness depending on the hops they use. I'm not sure whether they use exactly the same hops as they do for their Stone IPA for this one or if they use some other kind of hops. I'm not exactly sure. So, uh, This is a 6.9 percenter according to what I have here on the website and that's what it's got on the bottle. So that is correct. And this says enjoy by 070415. I would I would just assume them not do the enjoy by date on here. Unless it's one of the stone enjoy by beers, which is the double IPA. They only give that beer a 35 day shelf life, which is good. We're here in, uh, I'm, I'm doing this in April. We review in April here. Not even midway through. It's the 11th, I think. Today is the 11th. Uh, and they've given this to seven, so they're giving this at least three months, if not four. And I'm not a big fan of that, uh, especially on an IPA. Uh, I would like to see the bottled on date. Instead of them going to this enjoy by date, that sucks. Stone, can you hear me? The enjoy by date, when you're, you're putting on this style of beer and it's three or four months out, that sucks. Put the bottle, go back to the bottled on date like you were doing. That's what we need, bottled on. I know you want to give it a longer shelf life, but somebody that buys this in, in July is not going to be very, very happy. Not as happy as I am in March or April uh, with an IPA. Because it's going to be a little more malty. And, and, then they, and they know that. And they, and they do this to extend the shelf life. That's the only reason they do that, to extend the shelf life. But if you start buy, having people buy this beer at the very end of their shelf life, they're not going to buy it again, more than likely. It's my opinion. But uh, I'd much, much rather see a bottled on date instead of an enjoy by date. Uh, even their, their enjoy by series it has enjoyed by like 42015. Usually up on the upper neck of the bottle, it'll have a bottled on date. So they have a bottled on date up here, and then on the label it tells you enjoy by. And that's a 37 day beer. And that's pretty good. They want you to have it fresh. So I don't know why they would extend the shelf life uh, three months on this. Three or four months when we're getting that one in 30. They want you to have it in 37 days. That's that important on an IPA. It really is. The fresher you can get it, guys, the better off. Especially if you're a hophead. The, more, the better off you're going to like it more than likely. So, not a big fan of the enjoy by date when it's a three month uh, or a four month on date. So, let's get on with this one. Uh, commercial description on this one says, when reading the name Stone Cali Belgic IPA, Cali hints that it's a California style IPA, and this brew is undeniably Belgian influence indicated by the world Belgic, which is how Belgium's French speaking population says the word Belgian. The Dutch speaking Belgians say Belgic. We carefully selected a Belgian yeast strain that illuminates a fascinating new aspect of the beer that is otherwise quite simply Stone IPA. The result is both completely new and different while still being recognizable as Stone Brew and Stone IPA in particular. Think of it as an otherwise identical twin to Stone IPA that was raised in a Belgian culture, literally. So, like I said, what they've done is taken their Stone IPA 
and use a Belgian yeast strain on, on that beer to get this beer. So, very intriguing, very nice. I, I do like a Belgian style IPA uh, every now and then. So, it's a nice change up uh, from drinking the same old, same old, same old all the time. So, very nice. Looking forward to this one, I really am. Uh, let's go over to uh, food pairings. This is going to be your, uh, here, uh, this is a Belgian IPA and it doesn't have any, any, any cuisine listed here. I would think the cuisine would be pretty close to your typical IPA, your, either your curried or your Thai food. And that's just suggestions, guys. I mean, if you like drinking uh, this beer with whatever, if it blows your hair back or your socks off, by golly, do it. Uh, their recommendations here on uh, Great Beer says, Cheese is a sharp blue cheddar, your more pungent cheeses go over the other Limburger, and your tangy cheeses, brick at them and feta, and, and it says general salad. But I don't like a general salad. I don't like lieutenant salad. I don't like, I, if I want a salad, I'm usually not drinking beer with the salad. That's just my opinion. Uh, I, I, I like some substance with my, with my beers. Uh, to me, this would go well with grilled meat, uh, poultry, fish, shellfish, maybe even some salmon. Uh, I like a nice, strong IPA. With, uh, with with my dishes if I'm having, I even burgers or chops or, or anything off the grill, steaks, whatever. Not salad. I'm just not a beer drinking, salad eating kind of guy. I do have salads occasionally with my meals, but usually I'll have the salad and then I'll get into the meal before I'll take a drink. Uh, just to me, uh, the, uh, the, the strong, usually bitterness of the IPA would overwhelm any salad. It's just, just my opinion, though. Just my opinion. So there are probably some people out there that just love to eat salad and drink beer. <laughs> Maybe some vegetarians or something out there that like to do that. But I do like a nice salad. But I'm not into the ma matching up of a, of, a, of a almost a seven percent IPA with a salad. So uh, glassware, a tulip, goblet, or chalice, oversized wine glass. I got the Salvin beer glass. S A U V I N is how it's spelled. If you're interested in this, I had a guy that asked me the other day, uh, and, I say, and I've said this probably 50 times already, if you're interested in one of these glasses, Google it. Just go to Google and type in S-A-U-V-I-N beer glass. It'll tell you exactly where it comes from. It's not, an ex it's not a very inexpensive glass. It's a pricey glass. Uh, last time I checked, I think it's about $35 for this glass. A very pricey glass, but it is very thick heavy-duty glass. It's not like one of the road glasses or the dogfish head glass I've got in there, which is paper thin. I'm just scared to death to use them. They're that thin. Uh, they would break very easily, and this one will not. This is a very, very thick glass. It's, I think it's a little thicker than the double glass. The double glass used to be my most favorite glass till I got this in Parrish. My good friend in California sent me this glass as a gift, and it is awesome. It is super heavy-duty, very nice glass very good for everyday use. So, Alright guys, uh, beer is not recommended for extended cellaring, so without me clapping my gums any further, let's get the cap off of this bad boy. We'll get some Belgian IPA in the glass. Nice hiss, nice smoke rolling out. Alright. Very nice head on this one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what she said. About a finger and a half of head on that fairly aggressive pour. Over to the light. It is a rich amber color. Very nice, I can see the bulb right through it. A lot of bubbles streaming, streaming up, reinforcing that head. It's that time, let's get a nose on it. Oh yeah. The Belgian yeast is so predominant in, in these style of beers. Sometimes it masks some of the pineiness and grapefruitiness on the nose. You get it in the taste, but a lot of times that Belgian yeast, it'll, it'll mask that. It. Smells citrusy, but the Belgian yeast, the bubble gumish, bubble gumish, is that a word? Bubble gummy? <laughs> uh, bubble gum ish flavor is coming through. To me, it's, uh, and, I, and like I said, I'm not sure whether the hops or the yeast strain itself lends some spiciness to the, to the aroma. 
but I'm getting that. Nice and fruity smelling. Definitely smell the Belgian influence from the yeast, guys. So that's that time. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's so pleasant. Stone makes a great IPA, guys. They really do. Uh, when I first got into beers and I had a Stone IPA, I thought, well, man, when you look up IPA in the dictionary, they're going to have a bottle of this right there beside of it as a prime example of what it should be. But there are a lot of other beer companies that make most excellent IPAs. I'm kind of partial to the West Coast style with that all up in your face hot profile of the pine and the grapefruit and the pineapple and all that. I love it. I love it. And a lot of East Coast breweries has got a down pat too. They really do. That's very pleasant. Guys, I don't have the... Uh, the IBUs on this, but if you're using the same recipe that they do for the Stone IPA, it would be the same for that beer as it's for this one. And I don't recall what it was. But like I said, it doesn't have it uh, on either Rate Beer or Beer Advocate what the IBUs are. And I'm pretty damn sure I don't have it on here, but I'll look again. I do not see it anymore, guys. It does have 6.9 on here. But no IBU listing. So it doesn't taste too bitter. It tastes very well balanced. Very nice. Well, it's right out of the fridge, and I've been flapping my gums long enough. Let me take it back out and let her taste it, and uh, we'll sip, sip on it just a little bit, and uh, we'll come back and do the final chug and grind on this one. Really impressive. Uh, I really like what Stone does. Now, as far as that dating goes, enjoy by. Not a big fan of that guy. We need to put the bottle on date on there. Let's go to the bottle on date, uh, Greg and Mitch. Uh, Mitch is the head brewer out there at Stone, and, uh, and, and Greg is the CEO out there. Uh, he's, Greg's called the, uh, the Beer Jesus. I think I've been called a couple times the Beer Moses. I don't know what's up with that. Do I look like Moses? Hmm. Maybe I need a staff. <laughs> Not the kind of staff that's behind me, but the kind of staff that you hold in your hand. I'll be right back, guys, and then we'll do the final chug and grade on this one. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left. I, I really like these uh, as an occasional drink. Uh, I, can, I don't think I could drink it every day, though, but it is a nice change-up for me. Uh, now that it's warmed up a little bit, I've been sipping on it probably about 30 minutes now. It's uh, The Belgian yeast really lends that different, unique funkiness to the beer. Uh, with a little bit of that citrusy grapefruitiness, a little bit of bubble gum in there, but uh, the IPA part of it, the citrusiness of it, uh, the pine and grapefruit, uh, all come together pretty well to me for this one. So, I don't chug. To me, as it warms up, the uh, the Belgian yeast quality is really intense, and I get that grapefruity pepper, spiciness, and funkiness from the Belgian yeast, so. Cheers. Very nice. I will caution you, though, it does have a strong, bitter back end. If I was a guest, not knowing the IBUs on this, I would say this is probably up in the 70s, if not 80s. It's, it's, it's fairly bitter on the back end, but it has a nice sweetness up front uh, from the hops and the malt to balance it out. So a seasoned IPA drinker will probably like this, if you like this style, the Belgian style. Uh, but somebody that's, that's not into IPAs, this would probably blow your palate out of your mouth. So uh, it's a nice change up for me, like I said. I don't think I would drink these every day. But it is a nice change uh, from your typical IPAs. So I do like that Belgian funk going on in there. So uh, very tasty. A nice citrusy, orangey, grapefruity Belgian funk going on. So uh, for me, guys, uh, 
I, I, what sticks in, in my craw is that enjoy by date that's three months away. I would like to see that bottle date go back on the bottles. I mean, they used to have that on all of them. First, they didn't have anything. Then they went to the bottle on date. Now they're doing, going with this enjoy by date. Now, I'm not a big fan of that. I really, really not. I would probably give it a 9 out of 10 if it didn't have the enjoy by date on it. I want to see that bottle and date. Go back to the bottle and date guys there at Stone. Uh, I'm going to give it to 8. I'm going to give it to 8. It probably deserves a 9, but I'm going to give it to 8 because I don't like that enjoy by date. Uh, that just increases their shelf life. I want to know when the beer was put in the bottle. So, very tasty though. It is very tasty. Uh, eight for me. Over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 89 and they're very good range. I think it's a tad better than that. I would probably give it a 91 or a 92 is where I would put it. Uh, definitely an A beer as far as I'm concerned. And over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 98 overall, 98 in the style. So, they're giving it a big benefit of the doubt in my opinion. So I wouldn't go quite that high. Even if I was to give it a 9, it would probably be a 96 or a 97. So very tasty. Uh, it just has a little bit stronger bitterness on the back end uh, that the sweetness on the front end does not match. So not quite as balanced as, as it could be uh, in my opinion. But it's just my opinion. So some other people might say, oh, you're crazy. It's a 10 beer. I wouldn't argue with that. And other people might say, oh, it's a B-plus beer or it's a B-beer. Wouldn't argue with that either. Everybody's palate is a little different, so uh, that's why we do this. I mean, you know, a lot of people agree with me and some people don't disagree with me. And that is your prerogative. So, uh, they're going to wrap it up on this one, guys. If you've had this one from Stone, they're Cali Belgi or Cali de Belgique, however you want to pronounce it. Let me know what you think. Uh, let's go take a walk again to the kitchen tomorrow. See what's in the fridge. See you then, guys.